Hey guys, what's up? I'm Christian Taylor and welcome back to 12 Days of Crayler. So today we're going to be talking about Chromebook versus Windows. This is something I get asked about a lot. People are shopping for a laptop for themselves or somebody else and they're like, what's this Chromebook thing? Is it better than a Windows laptop? Is it different? Should I get one instead of the other? Does it depend on what I'm doing? So today I hope to answer that question. Now, starting off, I wanna talk about a conventional laptop. This would be Windows or Mac. Now, Windows or Mac, these operating systems run programs. So this may be like your browser, Google Chrome or Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge. This might be Photoshop or a video editing software such as Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro. The point is they run programs. They also have a file explorer where you can open it and see all the files on your hard drive. So these are great and everything, but there kind of comes a problem the cheaper you go with a Windows laptop. So if you buy a $500 Windows laptop at Best Buy, I wouldn't expect killer performance. It might be okay, it might be fine for you, but it's certainly not gonna tear through video editing and it's not gonna be super fast. And things just get worse as you get cheaper. When you get to that two to $300 range, boy do things get janky and sketchy. And man, I mean, you don't want a $300 Windows laptop. Just trust me, it's not going to be fun at all. So Google came along and they're like, yo, you know, the average consumer, they really don't need programs. Think about it. Most of what you do is probably in your web browser, reading articles, browsing social media, going on YouTube, typing a document in something like Google Docs or using Google Drive. There's even online photo editors. So they created the Chromebook. Now this runs Chrome OS. And pretty much this is a Linux-based operating system that does one thing and one thing only. It runs Google Chrome and it runs Android apps. So it's very, very, very scaled back and minimal. You can literally only do things like you would do online. You can edit Google documents offline. And obviously most Chromebooks can get Android apps. So you could get some games, maybe the Instagram app, the Snapchat app, all that jazz, but that's it. I mean, there's not even a file explorer. All your storage is in the cloud with Google Drive. So like these come with like a 16 gigabyte hard drive usually because there's absolutely no way to even store files. You may be thinking, well, this sounds terrible. My goodness, what would be the point of this? Well, the point is it's much more efficient on cheaper hardware. So even from $200 and up, you'll get a solid laptop. It'll be pretty speedy. It'll be able to handle basic tasks much better than a Windows laptop of that price point. So when you're shopping around for a laptop, you should ask yourself, do I need a file explorer where I can store files? Do I need professional programs like Photoshop and Final Cut or other editing softwares? And when it comes to word processing or basic photo editing, ask yourself, if you're leaning towards Windows, do I really need that? Do I need Microsoft Word? Do I need a photo editor? Or can I settle for Google Docs on a Chromebook, which again works offline, and some of the online photo editing options available? So. The answer is it's just important to know who you're shopping for and what their needs are. If at all possible, for $500 or less, if that's your budget, I would highly, highly, highly recommend a Chromebook. I think that if you can deal with the caveats, you're going to be much happier with the results. Um, if you need Windows, well, you need Windows, but I just think that you should definitely heavily consider a Chromebook in the sub $500 category. Well, anyway guys, that is gonna be it for today's 12 days of Crayler video. Please be sure to subscribe and enable post notifications so you can follow along. I'll be posting a video every single day up until Christmas with info that will help you with last minute Christmas gifts. So be sure to leave a like on this video. And with that said, I'll catch you guys next time. Charles. Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose, and if you ever saw it, you would.
would even stop.